starts now. Welcome back here to ABC4 News. I'm Sarah Murphy. We want to thank you for choosing us here this evening. Okay, we've talked about airport delays this to expect this holiday weekend, but we want to talk about the roads now. How can you avoid delays like this over here? Okay, to give you some context, there's a crash over here on I-80. It happened just moments ago. They just cleared it, but you can see still some traffic in the area, especially if you look at that far right shoulder. Again, this is south Salt Lake on I-80 westbound by the State Street exit. Again, this is the live look. We're still seeing a little bit of backup as you're heading through the area. So with a crash like this one in mind as we're kicking off the long weekend, what's the best way to avoid traffic? Or right, the simple answer to avoid this is don't travel during busy times. Now we all know that it may seem obvious, but here's some details for you, okay? Experts say the worst time to travel today, it's between two and 6 p.m. So we're right in the middle of that now. So maybe you could just stick with us through ABC4 News at 6 instead to avoid that traffic. Okay, tomorrow though, that busiest time that flips from 8 in the morning to 11 a.m. And then on Monday, expect an all day slowdown from 11 a.m until 8 p.m. All things to keep in mind there. We also want to talk about the price of your Labor Day travel. So it may never seem cheap, but how does the pinch compare now to last year? So as far as gas goes, last August, you probably paid around $4.30 per gallon for regular and then $4.74 for diesel. This year, though, in some cases, it's a whole dollar cheaper. AAA is also reminding you to take a few pre-trip checks before your trip, right? So you won't have to call roadside assistance this weekend. Yeah, check your car battery, check the tire pressure on your tires, uh, check the tread, make sure they're not too worn out. Uh, car batteries only last maybe about five years. If you live in a hotter area, it's been like a couple hot couple, couple summers, the lifespan on a battery is probably a little bit less than five years. So one final tip that they're giving you for your Labor Day travel, keep a weather eye open. Good news for you.